What? What the hell is this? Well, I've got some good back to school news for you guys. The Seattle Satanic Temple chapter is wanting to start their little after school program. Only targeting elementary schools that has the good news after school programs, which is evangelical Christian uh, after school programs. Not any other elementary schools. Now, already they've targeted the Centennial Elementary School for this year in Mount Vernon, Washington. But uh, next year they're heading for. Tacoma, which where I live in, and also in Puyallup, which, uh, yeah, good luck. They're going to possibly target us, but uh, yeah, good luck. But one of the schools here in Tacoma is uh, Brule, and another one is Point Defiance. Uh, one of the other ones in Puyallup is Fruitland. Um, Actually, I think Brule is in Puyallup. Sorry about that. But anyway, this is just really disgusting. And uh, yeah, can you imagine if they ever picked on any other schools that had any other programs? Think about it. I just want you to think. What if? And I want you to think, these Satanists are cowards. But what if they went after elementary schools that had Muslim-only after-school programs? Okay? Hear me out. Little Muslim boy comes home from school with a pamphlet, shows his father, and his father is looking at this thing going, What the hell is this? Oh, Allah, no! He gets on the phone, calls his friends, going, you won't believe what my son brought home from school. And then his friend goes, yeah, I know, my daughter brought home the same thing. They would grab their wives and their kids, head down to the school, big protest. Then, media would show up, then the mainstream media would show up, then the social justice warriors will show up, along with feminists, to support those poor women and children and young girls that are affected by these stupid Satanists because they're forcing these programs, you know, down the Muslim children's throats. Because they're only targeting elementary schools, remember, that have Muslim-only programs after school. And then, to put the icing on the cake, and the cherry on top of the sundae, you'll have leaders from Black Lives Matter showing up only to have a list of demands to be filled out by city officials to get more free stuff. That's the only reason why they would show up. Anyway, in all seriousness, the reason why they pick on us Christians is because they know we're easy targets and they hate us. We're the polar opposites. We love Christ and they're the spirit of the Antichrist. Well, they have the Antichrist spirit is what I'm trying to say. Um, but when we protest, yeah, we do it peacefully. We have signs that says Jesus saves, Jesus loves you. We'll have scripture written on it. We're not the Westboro Church because I don't consider them Christian. Of course, they have pictures of, you know, guys doing it. But what I'm trying to say is when us Christians protest against this, only a few news crews show up, ask a couple of questions, and then leave. And if a story does come about it, it's just a small blip on the radar, or it's never shown. It never shows up and it's never told. But anyway, 
I did find the small blip on the radar and I've got it and so uh, I'm ready to show it to you guys hi I'm just seeing this and I'm just kind of floored um, co-worker brought this up to me a few days ago and I've just it's been bugging me and this year my oldest granddaughter is going to be in kindergarten and I'm just going oh dear god but it's finally hit here in Washington if anybody wants to see it it's on channel 5 their website here but they're going to they've already uh, bugged Mount Vernon Washington which is about I'd say oh 30 miles maybe 40 miles um, south of uh, the Canadian border um, but now they're wanting to hit Tacoma and uh, Puyallup where you know I live here in Tacoma and uh, we're not going to take, take kindly to that and uh, Puyallup if you look at America and you know where the Bible Belt is well that's Puyallup and so anyway it says across the nation school days are often extended with or yeah extended with after school reading clubs homework help and sports activities but are parents ready for the after school program based on Satan hell no I'm not no 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 well anyway the satanic is the satanic temple is playing to on uh, rolling out after school Satan clubs uh, at select at select you have to remember at select public elementary schools across the nation this year now when they mean select they're going to pick on schools the, the only only the schools that have the good news clubs now it says Doug Messner the satanic temples co-founder told the post it boils down to this if Christian evangelical groups have already stock uh, state claim in after-school programs why shouldn't Satan have a seat in the table as well oh dear God that that that's just uh, God that burns my chaps right now right uh, uh, if you have the means to please homeschool your kids please that's just something I beg of you uh, there was at one point in time where I was able to homeschool one of my kids because her grades were low but I never ever saw this happening I'm now I'm an old woman and I have grandkids and now that I see my oldest going into kindergarten I'm thinking what is her future holding but uh, let's see what do they call them they'll, themselves oh according to the website uh, it's called education educating with Satan the after-school program will focus on the concepts of critical reasoning independent thinking and free thought children will be required to bring a signed permission slip to participate a signed permission slip yeah I'll give them a piece of paper they can unfold it and a big fist will come out of it and punch them right in the face that's how I feel about it this is pissing me off but anyway up here it says too but if you're picturing a room of young children learning about the man in red you're wrong well of course because Satan will come as an angel of light in a big disguise we're not stupid us Christians are not stupid it says while many believe that the group worships the devil they're not entire that's not entirely the case notice that's not entirely the case well it sometimes is the case though according to the satanic temple they say it's not entirely but yeah it's not entirely oh it says it does not teach the the existence of a literal Satan but rather uses the name of as a symbol for rebellion against tyranny now in the Bible you will learn that children will be rebellious against parents authoritarian rule according to the group's website that's why you see so many 
kids riding around smashing things up and they're going to teach them to do it even more. That's sweet. That's just really nice. And it teaches, well, you think of rebellion and tyranny. Well, what do you think uh, is going on in the government? That's pretty tyrannical. Yeah, they're a Luciferian there. So well, after the, it says, oh, God, this stupid web page. It says, uh, well, stop. it's hopping all over the place. It says, so after school Satan club to become a reality? God, I hope not. But the way the government is, it looks like because Supreme Court ruled that religious groups seeking to use public school facilities after school must be treated as non-religious groups allowed to organize. In a nutshell, schools cannot discriminate against religious groups. This is what's sad. The T Child Evangel Evangelism Fellowship used the ruling to promote its clubs, which focused on lessons from the Bible. Satanic Temple notes that they are eager, yeah, to offer schools their program. But it all started because some parent, if I can find it, some parent brought home a book saying, oh no, this one kid is going to evangelize to the whole group. Well, so what? What are you afraid of? We're trying to open up those uh, satanic school programs, well, after school programs, and hopefully they're not successful. Or you just don't send your kids to them, for heaven's sake, and that they fail and flop. But anyway, here's one from Isaiah, um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. And it says, Well, one to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness into light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. And what I'm saying is here people think that, oh, maybe it's a good thing that, you know, maybe that the Satanists should have their own little thing. Okay, you're making the evil sound good. And us Christians that have our own thing, you're making us sound evil. And you'd rather hear the evil than the good. Also, because our children are innocent, we're going to go into the New Testament. And these are Jesus' words. Of course, they're written in red. Jesus said, But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that had that a millstone were hanging around his neck and that he were drowned into the depth of the sea. Yes. If you take the little ones and teach them something corrupt, because we know that these Satanists, as the years go along, and your children are taught more and more about the Satanist garbage, that gets darker and darker, and it teaches the kids that, uh, that oh, it's not a good thing. It, it's corrupt. They no longer become innocent anymore. I mean, leave the innocent with the innocent. And another verse, which is uh, Mark 9, uh, chapter 9, verse 42. And, another, and again, Jesus says, And whosoever shall offend these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that have a millstone were hang around about his neck and were cast into the sea. So, if you try to get these little ones to uh, offend or, you know, cause sin, it were better to be just drowned into the sea, just cast right in there and that's it. I thought I'd just brought, bring those things up because you know, we're living in the last days. That's all I'm saying. And, you know, just keep your kids out of these programs because they're nothing but poison. Okay, now after all we've covered, 
you know, the schools have just been so disgusting and polluted, and we really need to protect our children. And I don't care what religion you are, whether you're a Christian or an atheist or Muslim or whatever, it's just, it's gotten out of hand, especially with Planned Parenthood coming in, saying, you know, hey, Jimmy, you can be a Jamie, or Michelle, you can be a Michael. The teachings are, there's uh, like 63 genders and confusing the hell out of our kids, and it's mostly sexual. Um, it's like two plus two is five. And, uh, you know, and just not teaching the true basic, you know, life skills that they need. Um, but anyway, leave the kids alone. Let the parents parent the kids, not the teachers or the government. But anyway, let the innocent be with the innocent. And I'm out.